Hello, chemistry students. We are going to go over electron configuration by doing one of the hardest ones there is, uranium. Uranium has all the problems you could want in a question. It has got the D block squish, meaning those D blocks are going to be a level lower. It has the F block, both the F block with a, a full F block, so F before D, and F block where it's not full. So uranium really has everything to it. Now, we're still gonna start just like we do with all of our questions with our whole 1s2. I, then we're gonna to continue to 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s2, all like we've done before without any really issues. Our first issue comes with this D block. See, now that we're dealing with the D block, we have that squish, so it's not 4D, it's 3D. And that wigs out a bunch of people because we're immediately gonna go right back to the level four. So you have to understand that when it comes to the D block, we're going to have that squish. And then we're gonna wind up with 4P6. At this point, we are now at our 5S. Notice I'm indenting one full margin. It's just neater, so I do that. And I'm back after the S to our Ds. And just like before, our D is going to be one less. So we are now going to have 4 D and 10, because it's going to go through the whole thing. Remember, we're trying to get to number 92, which is uranium. So we've got a long way to go. All right, after 4D10, we are then going to be at 5P6, and then 6S2. And now we get to our first F block, because after 6S2, which is you know barium, we then hit our first F block. Now, in this case, our F block is going to be full. So since it is full, we put the F before the D like normal, and it is all together. Our first F block is 4F14, and this then goes right into 5D10. So that's what happens when we have a full F block, meaning your answer is not on the F block at all, it's just full. So after 5D10, we are now back at 6P6. And then we go back, again, keeping the single indent to 7S2. And now things get kind of interesting. Remember, when your answer is on the F block, you have a block that's not full. As such, you have to have the D remain. It's holding the door open for the other electrons to come in. So 6D1 is your gatekeeper. It's holding that door open to allow the other uh, electrons in, which would be 5F, and remember this is uranium, so thorium, protactinium, uranium, so that would be 3. Now, you have the full F block, which is what we just did in red. You have, oh sorry, the not full, which was in red. You have the full, which is in blue, and you have got your various D blocks, which are in green. So this goes over all the tricks that you are likely to see in a full configuration where it is grounded, meaning the electrons are all in their lowest energy state. With that, I bid you good day. Hopefully this helped. This is an excellent one to put in your journal. Good luck and take care.